I'm Phoebe Bridgers, and these are the top eight memorable moments of my career. After I graduated high school, late 2013 or early 2014, my grandfather paid me to play a family reunion, but not my own. And then Gordon Gano was playing, weirdly. Like a couple years later, I ended up opening for Violent Femmes. I think it was 2014, I was being cast in a movie about a fictional girl band, and the male producer told me that I was fuckable. He told me that I was like girl next door style attractive, and that's why I was so castable, because anybody could fuck me. And then I called my mom, laughing hysterically, and uh, didn't feel bad about ghosting them. Late 2014, I got a message on my music Facebook from a guy called Marshall Vore and my mom was reading my Facebook and responded to him and said that yes, I would open for his band, even though I didn't tell her she could do that. Uh, and now we're best friends and we write all my songs together and play music all day long. In 2016, I met Julian Baker, who took me on tour. I was going upstairs and she was coming downstairs and we said, dude, 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 dude. And then we did a whole tour and then we started a band we got to play the Ryman in 2018 as our first show as Boy Genius, our band with Lucy Dacus. That was fun. In 2016, I got asked to play like a secret show at the bootleg, and I got an email, like a group email from Connor Oberst about how he didn't want to check a microphone because he doesn't believe in microphones. Then we met, became fast friends, and started a band together also called Better Living Community Center that we toured in 2019. In 2018, I finished a really, really grueling tour in the US and went directly to London to open for Bonnie Bear. And when I was sound checking, Sean and Justin came on stage and played a bunch of my songs with me that they knew by heart. That was pretty awesome. In November 2019, I got really sick right before this giant show in London and had to get a steroid shot into my butt cheek. It was like not strep thro throat, but that's what it felt like and I completely lost my voice. A doctor shot steroids into my butt cheek. And then like that night I was like, don't know what the fuck I was talking about. Like I feel fucking awesome. And then I woke up the next day with like my face melting off. So it's like one of those things that really like, you're like, man, I love my job, you know? In 2020, Phoebe Waller-Bridge started emailing me because we have the same name. And then we were like gonna get drinks in London. It was gonna be super fun. Cut to March, 2020. And then we decided to make a music video in the middle of nowhere. So I was gonna be like the lead of this lovely music video. And then she got me on the phone and was like, I've replaced you with a leading lady. And then she had texted me a picture of a long haired blonde chihuahua. So she's the funniest person I've ever met by far. Be nice, but take no shit and pee after sex. 